What if I told you Christianity is bigger than you think? Bigger than the street signs, the end times, and evolution's missing link. Christianity is not about going to heaven when you die, but about bringing heaven to earth while you're alive. Because when Jesus said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, he was talking about the here and now, not just something soon to come. See, life is like a race that can feel really long, but heaven isn't the finish line, it's the ground we're running on. Because heaven starts now, it's not just some paradise in the distance, but why do we treat it like we're waiting for a new toy on Christmas? Christianity is not just about being saved from sin. God wants to reveal the kingdom of heaven within. It's not about getting raptured to the sky, but about living your life with purpose and not just standing by. It's not about escaping a doomed earth, but being a part of its rebirth. We've all heard about heaven and hell and how if you don't accept Christ, you'll end up in an eternal cell. But you might say, what about those who've never heard? Because God condemning such people just sounds absurd. Well, I want to let you see the bigger picture of Christianity. It's bigger than dividing lines, nations, race, gender, and doctrinal ties. There's a bigger story in the Bible than John 3.16. And if you've read the whole thing, you know what I mean. It's not about eternal condemnation, but grace, love, and cosmic reconciliation. Don't get me wrong, I believe in hell, but our focus shouldn't be on condemning each other by saying farewell. Because you're not just saved from something, you're saved to walk into new life, where your old self dies and your new one comes alive. I felt a fire in my soul I knew was not my own, had no idea where to go, but knew I wasn't alone. But it's not about feelings, it's about looking at the cross and kneeling. That's usually where the gospel ends though, so let me explain further by using different lingo. We like to talk about the cross, resurrection, and virgin birth, but we often neglect all the words Christ said while still here on earth. Jesus didn't just talk about the afterlife, he spoke much more about the abundant life. See, heaven is the freeway, the journey, not just the destination. It looks like action, justice, and reconciliation. Heaven is love, joy, peace, kindness, and grace. It's much better than harps, clouds, and outer space. It's His kingdom, His angels, His power, His glory. It's not about us. Let's not forget the whole story. It's the sand in the desert, the water in the ocean, the air in your lungs. It's your body in motion. So be a part of the church, Christ's global body, and be yourself not another carbon copy. Because it's not just about the righteous wrath of God being satisfied, but about you waking up to your calling and making the world more purified. But that takes transformation of the soul, a spiritual effect that makes you better when you're old. See, there's an ache in your soul that cries out for more. Your identity isn't found in Instagram likes, so stop keeping score. God's purpose for you goes beyond the American dream. I used to work in one of these buildings. It's not as good as it seems. You're not just a sinner saved by grace, but a beloved son or daughter eternally embraced. You're already just as loved now as you ever will be. Christ paid it all and now you are free. Free to live both for the now and not yet. The kingdom to come and its present silhouette. See, hope must be our anthem because one day we will witness Christ coming down to bring the kingdom in its fullness. Until then, we have Christ in us, the hope of glory. So let's run the race and get caught up in a bigger story. Because this world is broken but beautiful, and God uses us to help restore it before our funerals. So let's not sit around and wait for the pearly gates. Let's do something now before it's too late. No matter what you've done, you're forgiven, and your story is still being written. Heaven could be happening all around, on this street, in this town. Heaven's screaming like a bus, but can you hear the sound? Because destiny is calling, though this world is falling apart. God's looking at you and asking, will you play your part?